Welcome back to the second video of our Generating Reports with Python series. In this video, we'll generate an Excel report using Python. Hi everyone, I'm Justin. Welcome to Just Into Data, where data science materials are shared and made simpler for you. As you may recall, in the previous video, we grabbed historical data of S&P 500 and its simple summary statistics. We'll use these two data frames, SP500 History and SP500 History Summary, to generate a report in the classic Excel format. Excel is a widely used, powerful data analysis and visualization tool. In many scenarios, you may want to store the report within Excel and share it with others. Others can easily open the spreadsheet, examine the report, and even use it for further analysis in Excel Python, or other programs. Before generating any reports, it's always a good idea to think about how you want the report. So let's take a look at the final Excel file we'll be building. We want two tabs, or two sheets. One sheet stores a historical data and a line chart showing the two series of close and close to 100 moving average. We'll build this line chart directly in Excel instead of Python since Excel itself is a good data visualization tool, while the other sheet stores a summary statistics table of the historical data. With this final report in mind, we're ready to generate it in Python. Let's get to JupyterLab. I already copied the code to save us time. While there are different tools to save reports as Excel, we'll use a foundation one, the Excel Writer in Pandas. Let's go through the code line by line. Before starting, we import from openpyexcel.chart, line chart, and reference. They're necessary to create the line chart within the Excel report. Then moving on to the first step, we set up a pandas Excel writer with argument as Excel report.xlsx, which is the Excel report's name that will be saved to your local computer and with engine OpenPyExcel. You can also use the engine XLSX Writer. The general procedure is the same, but the syntax will be different. We're using OpenPyExcel since it's a default engine for XLSX files. Next, with this Excel Writer, we can use the toExcel method to export the data from Python to Excel. We export data frames SP500 History and SP500 History Summary to two separate sheets with sheet names specified in the arguments. So one called Historical Data and the other called Historical Data Summary. If we only want these two data frames to be printed in the Excel file, we're done. But recall that we also want to add a chart within Excel. We want to add to the sheet of historical data a line chart showing the data of close and close to 100 moving average. So back to our code. All below is to generate such a line chart. It does look long, but once you write it, it helps to generate your chart automatically. So within this Excel writer, as writer's book, we point to the sheet historical data. This is a sheet where we save the historical data of SP500. We call it WS. We'll add chart in this sheet since the chart is based on the historical prices data. Then we grab the maximum row number in the sheet as max row. This will be used to reference the data within the Excel sheet to plot the chart. Next, we create two variables, value close and values close MA. They are to reference within the worksheet of WS the range of the two series of data on the line chart. The values close has min call of 5, max call of 5 as well. This is because if we zoom in on the final Excel report, we can see that the data is on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th column. And if we want to include this title, close, we should include it from the first row of the data. So back to the code. Such series has a min row of one and max row 
equal to the variable max row we've created earlier. This reference should work even if we refresh the historical data. Because a series will always stay on the fifth column, start from the first row, with the maximum row number changing according to the new data. Similarly, we set up the reference range to the close moving average data. It's on column 7, from the first row to the maximum row. Next, we also want to reference the date data, since a line chart will have the date as the x-axis. Let's zoom in on the Excel sheet to find where the date column is. The date column is stored on the first column in the Excel sheet. The first row stores a title of date. Then the data starts from the second row to the maximum row. Back to the notebook. You can see this dates reference has both min call and max call as one, min row of two, and max row as a maximum row number. We set the min row to be two, so we didn't include the first row, since we want to use our own title. Great! We've referenced the ranges of the data within the line chart. Now we can set up the line chart. We create a chart as line chart, then add data of close and close MA according to the ranges above. We also set the argument of titles from data as true. This will take the first row of the references as a title on the chart, which are close and close 200 MA. Besides the data of chart, we can use set categories as a range of the date column to set the dates as the x-axis. These few lines of code are to format the date to display on the line chart. The format will be month dash year. The major time unit is days, and the title of the x-axis is date. Now we already have the basic line chart set up. Let's also touch up the chart to make it better. We can add a title of close prices of S&P 500 to the chart. We can also grab the chart series with index of 1, which is a close moving average series, and change its style to dash. Finally, we can add the chart to the cell of G12 on the worksheet. That's all. Let's do a quick recap of the code before running it. We first set up an Excel writer with Open Pi Excel Engine. Then we export the data to separate sheets. Then we add a line chart referencing two series of data on the historical data sheet. Let's run this. If you go to the working directory, you should be able to find this new Excel report. Let's open it in Excel. As you can see, we have two sheets of data, historical data and historical data summary. On this historical data worksheet, we have the line chart generated at cell position of G12. It has a title, the x-axis of date, and two lines of close and close MA, with close MA being dash style. Nice. There is much more styling you can accomplish with this method. Please check out the OpenPyExcel documentation. All right, you've learned how to generate Excel reports in Python. In the next video, we'll generate a report of the same content as HTML. Stay tuned. Did you learn something new in this video? If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below this video right now. If you're interested in more data science tutorials and courses, please head over to our website, justintodata.com. Thank you and see you in the next video.